Hello you guys, how are you? My name is Natalie. We're going to be talking about Colombian emeralds and how you could tell if they're synthetic or not. Now, this does not only pertain to Colombian emeralds, this pertains to every single emerald out there. Russian, African, Brazilian, you name it. So, we all know that emeralds are composed of chromium, which gives it that green, that verdant color, right? Well, we have to consider that just because it's green, it doesn't mean it's genuine. So, we have to be very cautious about imperfections. Also, be aware of pricing. Now, if you're purchasing an emerald and you're saying, I, I don't know if I should trust the seller, if you're hesitant, always email, ask. Be sure that what you're purchasing is legit, okay, you guys? Also, um, make sure that your seller is reputable, has a good reputation with past experiences, and you are aware of them. You could always search them up, give them a phone call, talk directly to one of the representatives, that way you could be a little bit more clear and a little bit more happy about what you're going to be purchasing because we always want to know what we're spending on money what we're spending our money on okay so i'm going to give you guys examples of what is real to what is not so what we have over here is genuine these past two are going to be synthetic gemstones also if you're truly uncertain if your stone is genuine i recommend that you take it to a reputable lab or have it certified with whoever's selling it to you okay so let's go over here and let's talk and look at this 52.15 karat gemstone. So you guys probably already know by now by the looks of it that this is a genuine stone. It's real. So how do you know if the stone is real or not? Who knows, right? Well, emeralds are emeralds this size, which are 52 carats, are rare, number one. So you have to consider color, pricing, clarity, and imperfections. So imperfections are normal in emeralds and they're called jardins. It's a French word meaning garden in English. Garden in regards to its imperfections, it's basically a life, life in the gemstone. So you don't even need a loop to take a look. If you put it against natural lighting, take a look at that. You can see all the imperfections, all the scuffs in it, this is completely natural. Look at that. I don't have a second doubt in my mind that this is not a genuine gemstone. The color is not a perfect shade of green. It's light, but it's normal with its size. Now we come down to this little heart shape. This is about a three carat. So if you raise it up to the light, you're going to see imperfections. Again, imperfections mean that it's natural, not always. Nowadays, synthetic gemstones are getting made so well that they're actually putting imperfections in them. Let me give you an example. We have right here the synthetic emerald, man-made, and there's actually an imperfection. If you loop this gemstone, there are many imperfections. So many that I actually think it's possibly real. So let me show you a quick little look. See if you could get the inside. It's filled with bubbles, fractures, a carbon spot as well. It's pretty deceiving. We actually had it tested at GIA, but just to show people, you can't always trust the stone. Look at this. Synthetic barrel. This is not genuine. This is synthetic, man-made, human-made. It looks, it acts, it even dresses very beautifully in the setting, but it is not real. So you have to be careful when you start purchasing your gemstones. Again, where you purchase from is very important. If you're buying from a reliable seller, you will not encounter this issue. But then again, you have to be cautious. I always recommend that you get your stuff certified either by the seller or by another reputable second um, lab. Let me take a look at this 3.02. This emerald is nearly flawless. Again, it is it has imperfections. If you loop this gemstone, you will see imperfections. That's how good the, the, lab, cre the lab created stones are getting nowadays. The one indicator that makes me know that this is not a genuine stone, besides it's radiating like it's too, it's very pure, the insides make it look like it has zebra stripes all around it, like cracks. So I kind of get the idea that this is not a genuine stone. 
it looks synthetic. And in reality, it truly is. So if someone sells this stone to you for $100, $1,000, you know that that is not real. If you pay $1,000, well, first of all, it's not worth $1,000 because it's not genuine. But a stone like this probably costs up to $5,000 or more per carat. So you know that if you're buying it for a thousand or less, that you're not getting the, you're not getting a genuine gemstone. Thank you guys, that's all for today. Have a beautiful day.